Every time parents of an autistic child enter my chamber, they have two questions. One, will my child improve? And the second, how and how much? For the first question, we are fortunate. The answer is yes, an autistic child is likely to improve. How and how much depends on three things. One, the level of autism. Second, associated symptoms and comorbidities of autism. And the third, treatment offered in a time lapsed in offering the treatment. By level of autism, I mean the severity of core symptoms of autism in the child. The core symptoms being communication skill deficit and repetitive behavior. The lesser is the severity of communication skill deficit and repetitive behavior, the lesser is the need of supervision in the child and the less better is the prognosis of the child. Associated symptoms and comorbidities, they hamper the improvement of the child. They come in the way of learning of the child. There are three types of associated symptoms in the autistic children. Aggression, learning difficulty and the third is sexual problem. Aggression is by far the most common problem faced by the caretakers as well as the therapists with the autistic children. Learning difficulty or learning disability is at times neglected. We can't actually plan a proper intervention unless we know what is the learning ability of the child. And the third, the sleep uh, sexual problem by the adolescents. These children have one or the other sexual issues which need either to be trained by intervention or they may need medications. The common commodities of the autism can be grouped into three areas. Neuropsychiatric, gastrointestinal and auditory and the nutritional problem. And I must say these comorbidities they are often neglected. A child, autistic child is not thoroughly assessed and in many cases the neuropsychiatric comorbidity or the auditory comorbidity or the nutritional comorbidity they are neglected and they impair the chances of improvement in the child. The three common neuropsychiatric comorbidity are seizures, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder. Among which unfortunately attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder they are overlooked. And the same is the story with nutritional deficiencies. Autistic children they are commonly deficient in vitamin D deficiency, vitamin B12, zinc and omega 3 fatty acids. The treatment which can be offered to the children, they can be grouped in three areas. The interventions, the medications and the magic wand. Any modality of intervention or treatment which promises that the child will be totally all fine within two months, no matter how costly it is, is likely a magic band and unfortunately is not going to work. I told that because many people feel parents they get trapped in such type of promises. The interventions which can be offered, they can be of two types, the classical and the novel. Classical interventions, they are like functional behavior analysis, relationship development intervention and speech therapies. These are the interventions which work on the Coarse symptoms of autism as well as aggression. They form the backbone of the management of an autistic child. The new therapies which have come up and have got research evidence, they are reattached therapy, pet assisted therapy, 
प्ले थेरेपी एंड माइंडफुलनेस दे हैव गॉट सम गुड रिसर्च एविडेंस एंड दे कैन बी ट्राइड इन इन एन ऑटिस्टिक चाइल्ड एज फार एज मेडिकेशन दे आर कंसर्न दे आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन थ्री एरियाज वन इफ दे इज एनी को मोबिडिटी then that becomes almost a necessity to start the medication particularly if the child is suffering from adhd along with autism or obsessive compulsive disorder along with autism they become a need if the aggression and sexual problems of the child can't be handled by the baseline interventions if the aggression is not getting controlled by functional behavior analysis and it is very severe a child may be offered medication like antipsychotics at low dose same is the case with hypersexuality a child may also be given medication in case the core symptoms they are very severe and very disturbing like for repetitive behavior at times ssris may be given so if i have to sum up i would say an autistic child is likely to improve provided we can evaluate the child thoroughly this thorough examination is extremely important autism is not just about speech difficulty or problem with repetitive behavior we must know at what level he is to plan his intervention we must know his learning ability or iq before we start interventions we must know his comorbidities and that needs to be assessed often because a child may develop adhd after 2 3 years or obsessive compulsive disorder after 2 3 years and we have to diagnose them so that we can treat so proper evaluation and then after a thorough treatment and thorough treatment or intervention which is based on research evidence includes intervention and if needed medications and nutritional supplements thanks for watching do like it and share it and subscribe our channel for more information on mental health issues thank you